Hey everybody, it's Gaming Jim for Created Power. Sorry we're a little late today, but these things happen, you know, we can't run perfectly. Today we're going to unseal this lovely box of antiquities. We uh, sold 53 slots, um, so we are going to do some really uh, fun-filled, boring stuff of everybody watching their pack come out of a box being put into, you know, an envelope and all that, and so it's guaranteed unsearched. Uh, I've had this box for, I don't know, years. Um, this actually box did come out of a case, because, um, you know, it's been a little crushed a little bit, but not much. I've had this box for, God, at least 20, 26, 27 years. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna do today so you understand. Here's an example pack. By the way, I forgot to tell you, we have the lovely Morgan with us today. She's going to be doing all your packing. She did our last box opening. You remember that, Morgan? Yep. That was one year ago today. So, but we got Morgan. Um, and if anybody really wants to know, guess what? Morgan just informed me she's having a birthday again. I did not know this. One year later. One year later, another birthday. And mm -hmm. when is it? Uh, the 19th. The 19th. Happy birthday to Morgan. All right. So, what we're going to do, guys, let me show you. Well, after we open the box... We will put the packs right here. They're always being in plain sight. Um, we will then take the pack. It will go into a team bag with a backer of a top loader, which are hard to get these days. Then we will seal this like so. And we're going to have lots of little flying things all over. We will put... We will Put this down and just seal it over. And then what we then do is we have an embossed stamp that we then take and go like this and seal the side of the pack. Maybe, uh, maybe Jim doesn't know how to do this well. So it has a seal on it. Okay. Um, and then we also put a sticker on it, I forgot. Not in this order, by the way. The sticker goes first, then we seal it. We have an embossed gold stamp that says this is guaranteed, certified, and authentic by Graded Power. We put that seal right here, like so. Okay. Then what we do is we put it into a padded envelope. Goes in like this. It looks a little tight, but it fits perfectly. We do it all the time. Hmm, that's deja vu. We said that in the last video. We will then put it this way. Then what we do is we seal this, and then one more time, we will now, that's a really long piece of tape. I'm very bad at measuring. I'm yes, sorry. so we're going to have a really big piece of tape on this sample pack, and then we're going to just tape your package like so. Okay, and then for one more, for safety, you know, to make sure that everybody knows, we are going to put a... Another seal on your envelope. So, so when you get this in the mail, you will see that this has not been tampered with. If it's been tampered with, better talk to your uh, delivery guy. So, we'll also what we'll do, the way we pack this, is we have this nice, beautiful cardboard box. We will put it in here like so. Morgan can do this better than I can. She ships all the time. So it goes right in the box. We will get a beautiful graded power velvet bag with every purchase, like you do with our cards. Then we will then put this here, and I don't know, do you tape the box or no? We just put it in there. And then it goes into a FedEx pack, just like this, and then we'll stick a label on it and we'll send it uh, to you. Now, uh, I'm going to get all these out on Monday because, like I've said before, today's Friday, we don't want your pack sitting anywhere on the weekend. So if we do it on Friday, everything, or I'm sorry, on Monday, um, everything I get to you, and it's two-day FedEx, so that's what we got. Now, uh, we got this, and we'll put this over here. Let's give this back to Morgan. Look at that beautiful box. Nice, sealed, fresh. All right, so how we're going to do this is I have all your names for how many spots that you bought into a random org generator. I'm gonna hit the button three times. 
or the computer will go out. And that will be the names that we will do. So, for instance, um, if uh, you know John Smith gets number one, he gets the packs going over here one to, you know, like I said, we'll put the packs out here. It'll be one to thirty, thirty-one to forty, and then forty-one to sixty. And so we'll start with pack number one. Read off number one's name. Pack number two will go to Harold Ramis, and pack number three will go to um, Bob Vila. He likes magic cards. So, we're gonna do the lists here. Looks like you can see what we got. We're gonna randomize it three times. Hopefully you can see this on the screen. If you can't, I apologize, but it will happen. There's one. Here is, this is so hard to do backwards. And here is three. Now, the interesting part is I just figured that there are seven slots left, and I'm going to take the uh, seven last packs because I forgot to put in graded power into the name seven times. So that could be a problem, but we'll just take the, the last seven packs and that'll be fine. Um, we'll go from there. So, but we have the names, we have it listed. We have everything ready to go. Uh, so this is great. Um, now hopefully I don't botch up your name because I'm horrible with names, but um, like I said, we're ready to start this long, tedious process. So here we go. I don't know if we got a good angle, but we're going to open this. And yes, this box retails for over $20,000. My computer keeps making noises. I don't know why. Look at that. Taking the seal off. Throw that out. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is count the packs. They're a little off, but let's see what we got here. I'm sure everything is correct. They do move around. So we got two. Seventeen. Who that would have been bad if there wasn't 60 packs. That would have been horrible. So, all right. So who's watching, Morgan? What's going on over there? Anything? Uh, well, we so. have seven people watching. All right. So, the first thing I got going on right now, the first pack, number one, goes to Mario. Pressure Mathesis. So here's pack number one. And here we get to start the fun filled thing. So she gets it and then we grade it. While she's doing that, I'll try to give you some magic history over the time of all this fun filled stuff. Um, I don't know if anybody knows, but Antiquities came out in 1994 in March. Uh, it's a 100 card set. So lots of, uh, lots of interesting cards. If I say everything all at once, we'll have all the history done on the first pack, and then it'll be crickets through the whole uh, thing. 
but the, uh, you know, the way we can do this is this is the only sure way that you're guaranteed an unsearched booster, except for my new way that I will be doing in my next box. And by the way, my next box will be a box of dark. And then after that, a box of legends. And then um, when we do the next box, what we will do is we have our beautiful acrylic cases, like so. Um, and once we have these acrylic cases, we are going to um, seal them with your pack inside, a sticker on there with a serial number, and a, uh, and a certificate of authenticity. So no one can get in. You can always say they have been unsearched. So we'll be working on that next. Morgan's going to learn how to do measuring and tape soon. So, like I said, this is a long, boring process, but this is the only way we can do this. So you can make sure that you can always see that it's, you know, sealed. And Morgan doesn't have any strength, so I do it for her. You know, that way you have a seal on it. So, all right. Now, Morgan, somebody said we have a question. Some of these packs. Uh, okay, we can do that. Pack number two goes to Adam Fears. I don't know if you can zoom in and see the condition of the packs. You know, they are packed fresh. I mean, um, maybe if we can get in here and show, like you can see the weight of the packs, they actually put a mark on the corners because they're just whimsy packaging. But all these should be, you know, these are box fresh, pack fresh. Can't get any better than this. So, all right. So pack number two, Adam Fears. Now sometimes you're gonna hear repeated names because many people have ordered multiple, more than one. And you know, we will make all that happen. Uh, and, you know, so. It's the fun field, you know. This is going to take a while, and I apologize, but I'm going to keep telling you. Only way you can show you that these packs are going to be not tampered. So, so hopefully our cameraman will figure out every time I hand a pack to lovely Morgan that he will go over there and keep an eye on her, making sure she's not going through going, hey, I'm looking for, you know, do you even know what cards to look for? No, you don't. No. <laughs> But do you know that we have a sponsor today? Lots of sponsor, Jim. That moment of silence was brought to you by the public library. That's our sponsor. So every time there's silence, okay. the public library paid for that ad. So. so, hope everybody is enjoying. You know, we should while we're talking see what's on Jim's desk. We got a nice Pokemon pack. Let's see pack. how long it takes oh. to the notice. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan, we gotta get you stronger. Stronger, Morgan. I have no upper arm strength. Alright. Now I don't know if anybody's seen it, but we do have a nice embossed seal. So we probably can't show you too well, but we'll uh, get to it and uh, it really makes everything nice. So alright, pack number three goes to Aaron Greenberg. Aaron Greenberg your pack Aaron so pack number three so well a little more on magic history like I said um, antiquities hundred cards of the set if anybody knows it was a hundred and twenty one card sheet so that's uh, that's always good to have 121 cards on a sheet for some reason no uh, uh, antiquity sheets uh, Another uh, piece of history on antiquity sheets, for a year, for at least one year, I can remember, or two, they were handed out at Gen Con for free. They just handed out antiquity sheets. I think they were the common versions. Um, another good thing about antiquities, 
um, is that it has commons, uncommons, and rares, but the rares are classified as uncommon ones. So, now you know it, and the more you know, the more you learn. Right, Morgan? Here it goes again. What? The tape and the glove. And we had that problem the last time. Hopefully by the end of this, Morgan will be able to figure out how to measure tape on a package. All right. So. Don't you need it all the way around the pack in order to stamp it and have it secure? And no, because we'll know if somebody takes off the stamp on the thing. So. And by the way, once again, I am not harming your pack. And if I do, that would be pretty cool. Maybe Um, so, pack number four goes to Andrew Sellers. Pack number four, Andrew Sellers. There we go. And we go to Morgan. Jason has a question. Morgan, we got more. Morgan, you should hand me the iPad. Maybe I can look at it since I have more downtime than you do. That would probably be a better idea. Probably. <laughs> you just never know what happens here. Wow, this is really weird, Morgan. I'm watching you in video and you're right next to me. I know. So, uh, so Jason, you have a question. A box break of Unlimited or Arabian Nights. Well, I would love to buy those boxes if somebody wants to sell them to me. And I would be happy to do it, but they're hard to get. You know, Arabian Nights, you know, just hard to find. So, why did I give you that iPad back? That was just ridiculous on my part. I'll try the more time <laughs> Let me have the iPad so I can read these things. All right. We're never going to get these packs put in, but, you know, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. So. No, Will, they're not original paintings. What they are, though, is prints with the playtest, alpha playtest cards, alpha playtest cards on there, and an original alpha card. If I had the paintings, you know, that would be really lovely. Um, I think I only own one painting. Uh, I think uh, I had Mark Cole make me a stick man. It cost me 20 grand. I don't know. So, we'll see. Get Morgan over there. This is great. I can see how well your skills are right from here. I don't even have to turn my head. I won't crick my neck, Morgan. All right. Here we go. Jim gets to pack number four. Only 50-something to go. All right. Pack number five goes to Will Johnson. Will Johnson. Pack number five. You know, maybe this pack will have a Mr.'s Workshop in it. Or maybe you'll have a Winter Factory. So many different and good cards in there, you know. It's uh, pretty good to see what you get. So, like I said, Antiquities has uh, 100 cards in the set, has many different things, and, uh, you know, it's got a lot of Urza's land. So, uh, I actually think uh, the question... Uh, Jason is, I think Arabian Nights are harder to get. For some reason, I've handled more unlimited boxes um, than Arabian. Um, the Arabian was the first expansion, and it was really, really tough to get back. I remember getting them from my distributor, and I did not get any amount that I wanted. So, you know. We do have a nice empty box of Arabians that... If you look behind me after Morgan gives me this, well, uh, you can see. So, all right, here we go. We get to use my brute strength today, guys. Oh, I got to pop the bubbles that time. All right, pack number six goes to, if I pronounce this right, it looks like Kiyung um, Nguyen. Kiyung Nguyen, pack number six. What will you get in your pack? Or the question is, will he keep it sealed or will he open it? That's a big question for all of you. Are you guys keeping them sealed or are you opening it? 
I have no clue what you're doing in the privacy of your own home. So. It's great that all you guys have nothing better to do in this virus is to come and watch Morgan pack, you know. Um, she gets the pack packs in an envelope. Now Morgan is, this is a, exhilarating. It is. Morgan is a professional pack uh, packer in the envelopes. Um, she has went through an accredited uh, graded power college class to learn how to do this, taught by, of course, your professor, Jim Rizzo, um, who has a PhD in Magic Together. So we have all that. So some more magic history. We're going to hopefully have lots of magic history during this front coat time. Since we're doing antiquities, we will uh, talk more about this. Uh... So the embossed thing that we're using is a uh, an, uh, uh, an embossed seal that says this is certified by graded power that it's authentic. It's just a seal like you would a notary would use. Um, I use these seals on my certificate of authenticities. I use these seals um, on packaging. Um, I'm sorry, not this seal. We have another seal that just has our uh, information on it. But that seal is so you know that this pack is, you know, legit. If, if you don't see that seal on your pack when you get it, you've got a problem with your delivery guy because we have it all sealed here. Like, for instance, we'll show you again, but we go to uh, number uh, pack number seven. Uh, which is uh, Aben James. Aben James pack number seven. So, and what I'll do is show you. Morgan, hand me a sticker. Uh, no, I don't have extra. No, I'm not going to use it. Okay. I'm just gonna, like I said, you'll see this. Well, I'm just going to put this right in front of Morgan. Well, she's stealing doing the it. show. I'm stealing the show. <laughs> it's an embossed sticker. And so, you know, everything, like I said, we use it to, so you guys know that this stuff hasn't been tampered with. It's a, you know, a seal. So, hopefully that answers your question. If it doesn't, I'm horrible at my job. Um, so anyway, some more magic history. The people who designed, uh, designed the set, uh, one of my old friends who I used to see all the time on the Pro Tour, uh, Scaff Elias. Um, Scaff, if you ever watch this video, I am still running poker tournaments. So, uh, Jim Lin, um, Joel Mick, which, uh, shout out to Joel, he's purchased some cards. He's making a really nice alpha set. Um, Chris Page and uh, I think Dave Petty, if I remember these guys correctly. I remember, this was 27 years ago. I'm, I'm old, guys. So, uh, um, all our boxes that we have empty, we have on our website. So go to gradedpower.com and you can see what condition it is. I think it comes with one of our beautiful acrylic cases that I make. Um, I don't even know, I don't even have one I can get. But uh, we have, actually I do, I do. I'll show you this on the next video when the camera comes back around to me. Cause I don't want to steal the show from you, Morgan. So. Well, the show's. The show's going back to me? Going yeah. Back to you. It's like adventure time or something. All right, we should be on pack number eight. Pack number eight. Uh, pack number eight goes to Barry Nordale Jr. Barry, you get pack number eight. Right here, pack number eight. There we go. So we're gonna bring this right over. Morgan's gonna put it in the package. Morgan, I think we've done this before. So, it's deja vu all over again. So. If you guys have any more questions, I would love to answer them because, you know, I'm going to run out of all this magic history. Um, because i got nothing else to do. So, because uh, Morgan gets to steal the show. Now, we all know there's 60 packs in a box, 8 packs in a... Uh, pack, eight cards in a pack, I should rephrase that. Um, like I said, came out in March. Uh, and uh, every, 
everybody knows this is basically an artifact set. Tons of artifacts. So, you know, one good card did come out of this set, Morgan. I don't know if you know that. An Atog. And some of my good friends have named themselves like Micatog or Danatog. Morganatog? Can anybody guess what Morgan's favorite magic card is? <laughs> if you can guess. Nobody did last time. That's right. Nobody guessed last time. We'll give you a free pack of something. You know, who knows? Who knows what we have on Jim's desk? So, does anybody know? Anybody? 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 Nobody even cares more. No one cares what you're doing. No so, all right. We're going to pack number nine. Pack number nine. Pack number nine goes to Mike Platt. Or Plate. I never pronounce your, right, your last name correctly. So, but Mike. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm not going to give you your pack. This is your pack, Mike. Nice and neat. Now, um, I don't have it in front of me, but uh, my good friend Mike makes some very nice carrying cases for graded cards. So you can put some nice, lovely, uh, graded cards um, into uh, his cases. Uh, if you don't know uh, about his cases, I should have them on my website. If not, PM me and I'll be happy to give you information on where to get Mike's cases. So, we all love Mike. Mike's a great guy. Yes, we get in loose Arabian packs every once in a while. Um, I actually prop do have some Arabian packs, but the problem is with the COVID-19 virus, they are stuck in one of our bank uh, safety deposit boxes, and our bank is not allowing anybody into their lobby. So we can't get into our safety deposit box, so I can repost one uh, when I want one uh, to put on the uh, site. Um, we have and it sold, so I will, I do have another one I can post, and I probably will do that. So, I think I have a graded one on the website. Um, if I don't, I can make that happen. Um, actually, I probably can show you, um, in a second, I can probably show you a graded pack. I think I got one on my desk. But let me finish this, so we can keep this thing moving, because uh, we're going to be on pack number 10. Pack number 10. Pack number 10 goes to Alan Raphael, it looks like. Pack number 10. Pack number 10. So, Morgan will do that. So, let's see what I can find on my desk. I have an Angus McKenzie 9.5. That's nice. We'll show that later. Put that right out of here. You people can't see. Anyway, oh, that moment of silence again brought to you by Public Library. They're going to get their money's worth out of this show. All right, we're going to go to pack number 11. Pack number 11. Pack number 11 goes to uh, Barry Nordell Jr. He gets, I guess, bought two packs. Some people bought two, some people bought three, some people bought four, some people bought five packs. Because so, there was many, many packs. So, I agree with you, Jason. I don't like how they fold their packs, but they're the only people who grade packs. I would love it if I could grade packs, starters, and things like that. But once you become a grader, 
you know, or a grading company, then I wouldn't be able to sell the stuff. It would be a conflict of interest. Um, and we don't want a conflict of interest. So. And if you hear that squeaky noise, it's my chair. If I can ever get some uh, money for oil, you know. At one point I could get some free oil this month, but no one, I had no place to store it. So. Morgan, how's the tape doing this year to your gloves? Last year it was a Actually, sticky situation. it's not that bad. Is it because you're not using a tape gun this year? I don't know. You used a tape really, gun last year. That is true. All right. Maybe it's the tape. Maybe. Did you, I don't think I bought quality tape. That's what I was going to say. It's not, it's not very sticky tape because I'm not having a hard time. All right. We're going to get this show on the road, Morgan. These people want to see their packs. All right, now we're going to go to pack number 12, but I did find this on my desk because there's everything on my desk. Um, so here is a PSA uh, Gem Mint 10 Arabian Night Booster Pack. It should be on our website. If it's not, I'll make sure it's up there tomorrow or Monday or whatever day that we come down. But, you know, here, we'll put this here so people can see. By the way, yes, we did have a nice uh, Angus McKenzie. So... All right, so pack number 12 goes to uh, Alvin Jadis, pack number 12, pack number 12. Hey, we're still in the first row, isn't that great, guys? We'll be here forever, ever. So, let's see what else is going on in the world of antiquities. Um, not much, we're just here doing packs, seeing what's going on. Staring They're all staring at you, Morgan. <laughs> They're all looking at you. Morgan, all of how many people? Six, seven, uh, all of 11 whole people right now have their eyes on you. Look away. <laughs> so let's have a shout out to Matt Quinn who just uh, stopped in to say hi. You know, he's, he's a good guy. I like Matt. Get a shout out to Jason, Tim. Um, oh yes, Tim, you're correct. If that's uh, if uh, that is uh, Morgan's favorite card, Squee. But what Squee though? Yeah, what Squee? How did that? Did he? Did he go back to the the other one? Was he? Was he? So we got that? Jason. We got a shout out to Will, Blaine, uh, it's Daniel Chang. Hi, Daniel. How are you doing today? It's my turn. <laughs> I'm in. Tag. <laughs> All right. We are in pack number lucky 13. Lucky 13 goes to Brad Tolby. Brad Tolby. If I pronounce your name wrong, sorry, Brad. But lucky 13, hopefully you have a Mrs. Workshop in here. Good luck. And may the pack be with you. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Well, the reason Tim knows this is he watched the Legend video last I week. I thought so. <laughs> so he knows. Did you say last week? Yeah, he just said he watched it last, last week. Last year. No, he just watched it on our Facebook page oh, last I, week. Oh, okay. Got you it, know, people it. can do that, Morgan. If they missed it a year ago, they can go back anytime and rewatch it. By the way, if you guys don't know, we do have a uh, phenomenal YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know what it is, but Morgan does. Is it just called Graded Power? Just, just search Graded Power. And we have well, wonderful we YouTube videos of Jim opening many things. And someday Jim will discuss history and other important things in magic when I ever have time because I'm always so busy. So, you know. Oh, um, so people are asking questions. How many, you know, of uh, Arabian Nights, you know, uh, Alpha, Beta, and Limited boxes are, you know, that's really tough to say. You know, it's been 20-some years. I don't know how many people have opened them. I don't know how many people 
have saved them. I don't know how many people have just thrown them out in the garbage like Jim has because some days you just don't know what you throw away. Or, true story, once when I was uh, living with someone, we got a dog and uh, a puppy and uh, the puppy uh, decided to uh, chew out one of my boxes. Um, it wasn't a, a four horseman box, thank God, but it still was a good box at the time. So, all right, we are on pack. What number pack are we on there, Morganator? 14. If you don't know Morgan's nickname, she is the Morganator. Uh, pack 14 goes to Lars Grimm. All right, Lars, I think you were a late entry into the race, like this morning. <laughs> So, Lars, we're going to pack up your pack there, and uh, maybe uh, Morgan will uh, give it a little whammy on it today, and hopefully you get the, the good cards. So, hopefully. Maybe we should ask another trivia question about Morgan that I don't think anybody can answer. Oh, God. <laughs> I think we should ask Morgan, what is your favorite makeup line? <laughs> nobody, actually, nobody's going to guess No this. one's going to guess that one. No one's interested in this. We were talking earlier today to give something to do on this video, because the last one I seemed to really didn't have anything to talk about, because um, I never did one of these before like this. And his great idea was to ask you all about a makeup line. <laughs> That's right. I thought maybe we should have... You know, during some intermissions here that we go back and forth, that um, Morgan here can give you great makeup tips. She's into makeup a lot and loves to do things like that. Right, Morgan? Sure. <laughs> sure. Morgan says, sure. If Morgan was only a hairdresser, I could get my lovely giant haircut. Someday, someday I'll be able to get a haircut. Someday. All right, what is going on in the world? We are at pack number 15, correct? Yep. After I seal this bad boy, seal this right here. Now we go to pack 15. That goes to Will Johnson. Will Johnson. I feel like I'm uh, work at DMV and calling out names, or I'm back being a teacher again and calling out attendance. Is Will Johnson here? Please stand up. All right, what else have we got in the, anything good in the history of uh, magic here? Um, well, we know that the antiquity box has a WOTC code of WOC6502, if anybody's interested in that. Um, hopefully they, they will enjoy this and like that. I don't know. Let's see, what else does Jim have on his desk that you guys would find interesting? Um, Got some unlimited fireballs on my desk for some reason. So I can tell you, uh, like I said before, the next box that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dark, dark box, dark from Boston. You haven't been a dark box, uh, a dark box, and uh, we are going to do that. Um, every pack will be uh, encapsulated in our uh, in our cases. Yes, I kept seven packs for myself that we are going to send into PSA and get graded. I wanted ten, and some late guys came in and begged me to sell them a pack. So, the kindness of my heart, I have uh, done that. So, all right. So, straight these up here now. Uh, where are we going? Pack number sixteen. Pack number sixteen goes to my good friend Damian Brunson. I've worked with Damien over the years. He's out of California, owns uh, Termicula Games. I just wanted the camera on my, on my face there, Morgan. <laughs> over the years. Um, he's out of California. Uh, he bought two packs last night, so this goes to Damien. Damien, hope you uh, get something good out of there. Hope you get something good. So. All right. Well, Morgan keeps packing, I'll keep talking. That sounds like something great. But yes, uh, like I said, we're keeping seven packs. We're going to uh, do that. Uh, it's 
send them in, get graded. Uh, we're going to take the last seven packs because I forgot to put my name on the list um, because I wasn't paying attention because I thought I had everything done. And, uh, you know, by the time we do like 10 of these box openings, we'll have this down to a science. Hopefully, Morgan will get faster over the years. So. But if we only do it once a year, Morgan. <laughs> Are you always going to wear the bandana during pack openings, or are you going to change up some styles? I'm not changing that pack. I might come in a wig next time. Ooh, Morgan in a wig. That's what I like to see. Morgan in a wig. You'll think it's a different person. I, I actually have said that before to you when you have come in a wig. Who is that person? Who's, come on. I've asked Jess, who is that at Morgan's desk? Morgan, I'm like, no. All right, what else we got going on here in the Facebook? Nothing much. You guys are all just hanging out. At least maybe you guys are eating a sandwich or something. I just got to go over here and squeeze a pack. Just squeeze. Here we go. All right. Looks like we're on pack number 17, and that goes to Aaron Greensburg. Like I said, if I screw up your name, stuff like that. Another nice pack. We'll get in a close-up of this one. We haven't had one in a while. People can see the condition of the packs. If these aren't packed fresh, then I don't know what is, because these came out of a box. So, hope everybody's happy out there. Hope everybody's being safe, washing their hands, wearing a mask, putting on gloves, jumping up and down. So, things like that, you know. Having some ice cream, that's awesome. I don't know if you guys all know, but I'll be opening an ice cream parlor myself because I'm bored. You know, right next door to the warehouse so we can go over and get fat and open magic cards. Because I got nothing better to do during this virus. So, what kind of ice cream is it? That's what I want to know. That's what I was getting ready to ask, too. Morgan wants to know what kind of ice cream is it, too, Blaine. So, let Morgan know. So. We're on the edge of our seats here. Um, we are. It's really weird when I look at the iPad and look at you, there's a lag. So, just the lag. Alright, is there any more important things about antiquities that I haven't gone over yet? There's a misprint on one card. Uh, I can't remember what it is, but I'll figure it out in a minute. Um. Oh, Jen's Almond Brittle. It's a nice caramel and nut flakes in there. So Carmen, ca caramel, caramel, caramel brittle, or caramel, whichever. Caramel you brittle say. or caramel brittle. All right, now we're on pack eighteen. I swear, one of these times you're gonna pinch my finger in this thing. And then you will yell, "Hey, it's Jason Applin." Jason, I think you want to see how nice your pack was, so let's go take a look at it. Ooh, this looks very nice. So Jason, you're getting pack number 18. I mean, hopefully uh, you'll get to see what's in it when you uh, get it. It's, uh, it's a very nice pack. This is, this is beautiful. Look at that. We'll just give it one more time for the people back at home. All right, and then we bring it over to Morgan and Morgan gently takes it. Now, what we could do is Morgan could just rip it open and look at your cards and be like, oh, sad. You would be sad panda. Morgan wouldn't do that. Morgan's good at these things. So Morgan, let the viewers out there know what your favorite ice cream is. Did you say they know or no. they want to know? They want to know. <laughs> they are they are clamoring to know. What your favorite ice cream is? I'm a very bland person. I just like vanilla. You heard it here first. She just likes vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. Just vanilla, nothing else? I like caramel too. What about caramel? Or caramel. Is it my turn yet? Almost. I was impatient there, so. So what else is going on in the magic world today? I have no clue. Uh, 
So some other good cards we've already talked about, the Mistress Workshop. We got Mistress Factories, Spring, Winter, Fall, Summer. Some of them are rarer than others, some are prettier. Um, we have a nice Millstone, that was a nice card back in the day. Um, and we also have Strip Lands, uh, or Strip Mines, I should say, I'm sorry, Strip Mines. So, you know, things like that. And hopefully now I'm getting my pack back and my cameraman will get over here instead of, you know, figuring out what he's doing. Alright. Alright, pack number 19. Pack number 19 goes to Albin Jades. Albin Jades. I think you ordered five packs, my friend. Thank you very much for ordering so many. We appreciate it here. Morgan appreciates it. She gets a paycheck. By the way, we were going to wear masks today, because we wear masks in the office a lot, um, most, uh, most, uh, all the time, and, uh, but today we decided we couldn't wear some, um, some masks because we would be all muffled. We tried it. We tried a tape going, and nobody could hear us. And then you wouldn't get to see Morgan's lovely face if she was in a mask. No comment. <laughs> no comment. So. I've heard yawning. Not me. I would never. Morgan's taping over there like crazy. But not getting my glove extremely stuck like that. Well, that's good. So, Morgan, I got some te technical difficulties. Can you find out where all the comments went? Oh, you have to. Um, I have to do that. I'm not technically advanced. Are you watching? Click from the bottom right here. Oh, thank you. All right. All right, so we're going to do pack number 20, the last one in the first stack. Um, to show you kids, if you don't know, um, I found some Tron lands on my desk. They're called Tron lands because that's a deck. Basically just, uh, you know, Ursa's lands, power plants, mines, things like that. Um, you know, this is, uh, you are basically always get some of these in a pack. They were random. Uh, or rampant at the time, rampant at the time, so. All right, number, pack number 20, the last one in this one goes to Adam Fears. Pack number 20, another nice looking pack. All right, now we get to work on stack number two, ladies and gentlemen, stack number two. So, all right, what other good things do I have on my desk? I don't know. I do know that uh, in... Uh, I'm going to say next week sometime, stay tuned for three bo uh, box opening, or not box opening, three, uh, three, uh, what the, what am I trying to say, Morgan, help me out here. We will be, we will be doing unboxings of cards we're getting in from BGS. One is a section of beta, and two boxes will be what everybody loves, alpha, so... Alpha is what everybody wants, and, uh, you know, we try to get what people want. What do you want, Morgan? Less tape? So. Alrighty, so I'm going to, you know, get this over here. Got to see. All right, so we're going to pack number 21, and uh, just to let everybody know, we'll keep doing this. If you guys don't know, one thing I created uh, over the you know last year is some awesome acrylic cases for boxes and magic. They're called display guards. You know, we make it for the booster packs, booster box. You see it here, you see them there. You know, just to let you know, this stuff is all on our website. We do it for Pokemon. We do it for magic. Uh, we're going to have some other stuff. Uh, we got a new uh, stuff coming out in the line. Um, I got more stuff for Magic coming out. 
stuff like uh, fat pack boxes uh, from the vault can't remember all the stuff that I got but a whole bunch of new stuff uh, commander decks I'm gonna make some acrylic cases for commander decks all this stuff hopefully I will have some samples in next week and maybe we'll do a little show about that and uh, show you all the new stuff that we're going to come out with. But back to the race this year, number 21, Aaron Greenberg. Aaron, you get pack number 21. Pack number 21. Good luck to you. Now, if you didn't know, Morgan can be bribed for the right amount of money to make sure you get a mistress workshop. So you send her three to $5,000 in cash and unmarked bills. And sure make that sure that pack has a really good card in it. Right, Morgan? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? So. Now the fun part about antiquities, if I remember, there is a card in here called, I want to say resurrection. It's blue, and it come to me. It is missing the symbol. And everybody for years, when you were sorting cards, would be like, oh, that's beta. But it wasn't. It was an antiquity card missing a symbol. So, you know, there's really not a lot to talk about in antiquities. It was, uh, you know, not such a great set. Arabian Nights, wonderful set. We could talk about that all day. You got Libraries of Alexander, you got Jazams. You got Saren Dibs, you got lots of stuff. And even Legends, we could talk about Legends forever. Legends has got really good cards. The dragons, you know, the legendary creatures, the, you know, we got the Abyss and other stuff like that. But in Antiquities, we got Millstones, Factories, Workshops, um, we got Natog. Lots. We don't get a lot, just not a lot. All right, I guess we're on pack number 22. Pack number 22 is Jeremy Chen. Jeremy, congratulations, and here is a beautiful pack. So much drama that we did. So. Ah! Well, once again, Morgan, I, I've done what you said. I touched it. Bottom, bottom, and no, 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 in the middle. This? And no, no. <laughs> okay, Morgan. Well, hold on, it ain't working for me either. What happened? Huh. Well, we got some technical difficulties in this one. There we go. Maybe you will get double strip mines uh, there, Jason. Who knows? Um, you know, in all my years, I can't think that there were any God antiquity packs. I know there's God Dark packs and God Legend packs. I think I still have some floating around somewhere of uh, Legend and the Dark. I know I got the Dark somewhere. I bought them from back in the day. I think in 1994 from Troll and Toad. Before I went there. So. All right. So we're going to get down the line here. We're going to get to pack number 23. Pack number 23. All right, pack number 23. Uh, correct is number 23. Goes to Adam Fierce. I think Adam bought four packs. I can't remember. I don't like moving my lists around. All right. Morgan's going to gently pack that again, and I'm going to try to find out what the cool stuff um, that we have here at Creative Power for you to enjoy and um, find out. Oh, funny part is, in the back right here, I do have more herds of the I got a set of towers. Oh, I got a Gaia's Avenger. This looks like it's going to be going in for grading. I have some you know, Alley from Cairo's on my desk and you know, Alpha cards and Beta cards. Mm -hmm. I got Pokemon cards on my desk this week. So. 
You never know what you're going to find on Jim's desk. Jim doesn't even know what he's going to find on Jim's desk. So we're going to be going to pack number 24, that's an exciting number. Pack number 24, all right, pack number 24 is going to go to, oh I pronounced you right, Gary Grant, D-A-I-R, Grant, you're going to get a beautiful pack. That looks really nice. Let's get a little close up on that one. Oh yeah, here we go. On the Morgan, Morgan will pack that. So, well, kids, I don't know really what else to talk about, but we'll find uh, cool topics. Hopefully, uh, we like, uh, like I said, we'll be doing more of this again. Um, we will be definitely doing some uh, sealed uh, acrylic stuff. But we will, you know, seal the, uh, the uh, item for you. Hopefully I can seal it with uh, some type of silicon. Or acrylic glue. So. All right. Um, Morgan is just trying to get faster. I'm trying. Lisa, Lisa's not sticking to your gloves. That, is true. that made it difficult last year. All right. Pack number 25. Pack number 25. Pack number 25 goes to Jeremy Hester. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Pack number 25. So if anybody has a better idea how to make this go faster and to be more secure, I would love that um, comment. So somebody asked me what my prize magic possession is. The funny part is theoretically. I don't really collect anything. I just acquire stuff in the business and stuff that I just threw in closets in the trunk of my car over the years. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes it's just not one item for me. It's quantity of items. Like, I own tons of Porto Three Kingdom boxes that everybody thought was going to be crap back in the day. Um, same with uh, Unhinged. Um, there are some people out there that can tell you some stories about Jim and his unhinged boxes, buying every one he could find at, you know, $25 and less, paying 17 euro a box in Essen and having them all shipped back. You know, I don't really have a prize for that magic item. I mean, I really have cool stuff, but nothing really sticks out. I mean, if you ask me what my favorite um, magic item is, it's me crushing packs with a uh, crimper. No. Um, hold on. we got to go to pack number 26. And pack number 26 goes to, and I am going to botch your name up, but it's um, a friend of mine from overseas, uh, Gurliam Denox. Hopefully I didn't screw up your name. And I apologize. I see you at Gen Con. And uh, if I did, just uh, give me a nice tap on the shoulder and say you're an idiot, Jim. Because, you know, that always works. Right, Morgan? How many times do you call me an idiot, Morgan? Too many times to <laughs> So, now, uh, I mentioned Gen Con, and so far, we, we're still in this COVID-19 uh, problem, I guess. Uh, and they haven't canceled Gen Con yet, so this is going to be interesting. Who is going to go to Gen Con? Who isn't going to go to Gen Con? You know, is it going to be safe? Is it not going to be safe? It's going to be an interesting topic of conversation. So I don't know what's actually going to happen on that, but I would like to know, and maybe if you guys have some opinions, you can let me know. Um, but Gen Con is always a, a favorite place. We have a lot of fun times. We do a lot of pack wars at Gen Con, um, where we open up boxes and pack war and do things like this. People love getting um, fresh 
open, um, guaranteed, unsearched booster boxes. Because a lot of people feel like everything has been searched or has been tampered with. I mean, some stuff does get tampered with, some stuff doesn't. You know, I, I think one of the things I'm going to talk about in this next couple minutes is that everybody thinks, um, hold on, the sealed stuff. All right, I think we're at pack number 27. Am I correct, Morgan? Yeah. Um, it goes to Albane Jades, pack number 27. Take a nice closer look at that guy. I think he's out in France. I forgot where he was from, but he told me. Anyway, all right. So let's talk about sealed stuff. A lot of people think everything that, you know, they don't see come, you know, out of a case. A lot of people think stuff is searched or stuff has been tampered with. You know, just because you open, say, a beta starter or an alpha starter, and you don't get a black lotus, doesn't mean it was always searched. There are ways you can tell when stuff is searched. Um, some people say the cards are not in order the way it is on the sheet. You know, I'm one of the only dealers who've ever been to Carter Monday, especially back in the day. And one thing I did, you know, heard stories about that actually happened, a lot of stuff got hand correlated back in the day. You know, alpha uh, packs and, you know, cards and things like that. And so sometimes things can happen like that where stuff happens at the factory. I mean, I can tell you from experience from the case of Legends that I owned, um, that I opened up a few years ago and took the seal off, that in the box, uh, six of the boxes were sealed, four of them were not sealed. How does that happen? Simple. They came off the, the run, they ran out of shrink wrap, and, um, you know, they just got put in the case. Quality control was not really good back in 93, 94, even 95. I mean, so many different things have happened over the years that, you know. All right, we're on pack number 28, Morgan? Yeah. And pack number 28 goes to um, Derry Grant again. Is that correct? Grant, yes. Pack number 28. Morgan, if I screw up, you'll let me know, right? All right, that's great to know. <laughs> but no, there's a lot of things that happen in Magic that you know that do that does happen at the factory. There are mistakes. Doesn't mean the pack was tampered with stuff like that. I mean, I can give you an instance that we just had happen um, last year at a show. Actually, even here, we had some packs of Exodus that people opened up and their cards were moldy. Yes, moldy because somehow moisture got in the packs at the factory. We don't know how it happened, but it did. These packs were tampered with. I looked at that seal when I had that box. And somehow, you know, things happen. Mistakes do happen. Um, a lot of people are paranoid. If you get stuff from a good source, you know, you really don't have that problem. But there are mistakes. I mean, somebody got upset once um, when we opened the pack that the cards were flip-flop and backwards. And, like, somebody tampered with this. But... They didn't because when he pulled, it was an activity pack, actually, a turtle weekend. When they actually pulled the workshop, they didn't complain. But if they got nothing, they would have complained. So sometimes mistakes happen. Like when you open a, a starter, the cards may be backwards, you know, instead of facing out like they're supposed to be. It does happen. I mean, I wish people would just understand these things do happen. And I'm not saying there's not unscrupulous people out there, because there are. And you have to be careful who you buy from. I have to be very careful when people sell me stuff. I gotta check the origins and all that. And now we're gonna go to pack number 29. And that goes to Christopher James. Double first name, Christopher James. It's almost like a Marvel comic, you know, like Bruce Banner. So. Um, so yeah, we have to be very careful when it comes to buying stuff from people. There are unscrupulous people and there are people who are trying to cheat. You have to be very, very careful. That's why we do things like this, you know, unseal a box live on video and showing you that we're packing every pack and making everything safe for you guys knowing that your packs haven't been tampered with because we want you to get good quality stuff. So thank God we're not in the po Pokemon industry uh, too much because they weigh their packs. They actually sell them weighed and tell them, oh, we have unweighed packs and weighed packs. I can tell you when we do uh, Pokemon stuff, I will not be doing that. You will be getting 
either a good card or not a good card. It's random. It's, you know, this is what it is. My personal opinion, weighing packs is, you know, I know some people definitely want to get a good card. I just feel like everybody should have a chance. I don't think you should have more money than somebody to make sure you get one good card. I think everybody should always have that chance. That's my uh, political view for the moment. And we'll move on to pack number 30. What does that mean when we're on pack number 30 there, Morgan? Actually, I don't know what does it mean. It means we are halfway Wait. through the box. Okay, yeah. And pack number 30 goes to Jason Applin. So, Jason, I know you want to see how nice your pack is because you've been watching this diligently. Um, so, that, once again, looks like a very nice pack. So... And now Morgan will crumple it up and send it to you in a, a, a wad. No, she will not do that. Morgan knows my wrath if she did that. Bonus! Oh, wait. What? <laughs> I said bonus! <laughs> Instead of getting mad at you and firing you, I'll be like, ah, hey, you screwed this guy. No, kidding. Kidding. All right. Still only got 11 people. You should tell your friends your family, even your pets that were live. You know, the more pets I get, I think that would be more fun, wouldn't it? Hey, look at it. It's, it's Bobby the cat. I couldn't think of a cat name. I could not think of a cat name. Of the that whiskers? One. How about Schubert? Oh, Schubert. 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 Poor Schubert. By the way, Schubert is a real name of a cat. And yes, he's my cat. And what is so important about Schubert there, Morganator? No. Tell the camera, Morgan. What's so important about Schubert? Is, yes. Is, oh, why is it about the? Uh, That's his will. What is, it's the? Uh, the is it the will? Yeah. It's he gets he gets like he gets he everything. Gets, yeah, he gets everything. He gets everything. When I die, all my magic stuff goes to my cat. All of it. It is in legal paperwork terms. It's, it is done. So, he gets all my possessions, all my magic cards. He can have a field wow, day Wow, I'm them. an idiot. <laughs> but you do. We're just going to pretend. I was about to put a sticker on You're gonna put a You were going to double sticker that for that guy. You want Jason's pack to make sure it has not been tampered with. So... All right, well, I hope you're having fun here watching Morgan and I in our comedy sketch. Morgan, do you think maybe we can work for This is why I don't know podcasts. I know. <laughs> but, Morgan, do you think we can work on for the next video, you could get stronger and press up? Can I we get you a hand, a hand, a hand uh, squeezer? I need to get, I need to lift weights. <laughs> Pack number, are we at number 31? Yeah. Uh, Tim Mack. Tim Mack, that's a great name, Tim Mack. <laughs> Just Tim Mack, big guy. Tim, we got a nice pack coming your way. Now, Morgan, he's the guy who knew that you like Squee Goblin. Ah, Squee Goblin what? Nabob. You sure it's not Naboob? It's Nabob. Naboob? Nabob. Squee Goblin Nabob. I tried to buy the artwork for you, but it just got a little too much for a gift to give an employee. I think it went for $2,000. So you can add Squee over your desk. Squee Goblin Actually, Morgan, tell people what you have on the side of your desk that's very interesting. What do I have on the side? I got a lot of things. No, on my you desk. have a, you have an interesting poster on the side of your desk. On the side of my desk? Yes, when you sit at your desk and yes. you turn this way, which is that way and that way, you have a real poster with cards on it. Oh, are you talking about my wanted sign? Yes, yeah. your wanted poster. I got a wanted poster for fake cards. Not that they're wanted for being fake, but they're, you know, wanted for being fake. <laughs> she yeah, catches fake cards that come in and things like that, so she's very good at that. Also, i got to stop talking while I'm doing this. <laughs> Morgan's got to stop talking. <laughs> well, Jason, I'm very happy that you're happy that your packs look good. Like I said, they do come from a sealed box, and they are packed fresh. You know, box fresh. You can't get any better than that. So, you know, we will see. You know, the funny part, I just found on my desk. This is actually true. And I'm going to have Josh pan over this after you give me this. I just didn't know what I have on my desk. 
this is going to be interesting. Make yep. sure the tank's okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over there, Morgan, but... Making sure that the pack is okay. Okay, there you go. All right. All right, so we're going to go to pack number 32, but on my desk, it's when I move these papers over here and note. I have a stack, which is really funny because I don't know why they're on my desk, but I have an actual stack of antiquity cards. That's really funny. We can read off some of these lovely commons that you may pull. I mean, I literally have lots of antiquity cards on my desk. <laughs> I really don't know why. I didn't plan this. All right, what are we on? Pack number 32? 32. Pack number 32 goes to Mario... Fisher Mappis. Once again, I probably butchered your name, and I apologize, but you get nice pack 32. All right, let's see what uh, commons that you can get out of here. We have Argivian Blacksmith, Argothian Treefolk, Artifact Blast, Artifact Possession. There's a lot of things to do with artifacts. Anybody ever knows that? Uh, and these are in alphabetical order for some reason, too. That's a big thing. So, um, Artifact Ward. Darfania's Restoration. Ashen Battle Gear. Clay Statue. Battering Ram. Crumble. I'm going to just crumble. Um, grape Shot Catapult. I don't think it's grape. Is it grape? Orcish Merchants. Ooh, I should do some business with some Orcish Merchants. Uh, Phyrexian Gremlins. And we'll get back to some more interesting uh, cards in a second. All right, going to pack number 33. 33, the lucky winner is Daria Grant. I hope I'm pronouncing your, your name right. If I'm not, I apologize. We did pack war with Kyle Montgomery in Gen Con, me and him. I think I won that one. So, number 33. 30, that's correct, 33. Let's see, what other cards we got? The next cards we got up is Reconstruction. That's the one that is missing the symbol. Let's show that to the people at the good parties at home. Reverse Polarity, Sage of Latinam, Scaff of Zegan, Tables of... Eruptide versus Chalice. These are all some of the beautiful cards that you can get in Antiquities. I don't know why I had these on my desk, but I did. Uh, let's see. card that I found on my desk. People will like to see this when we go over. So. All right. We're going to pack number 34. Oh. Well, guess what? Daria, Grant, you get you get back to back. So, now here's the card I was talking about. It's missing the symbol. Um, that's a misprint, but it's such a common card. There's so many nobody really cares. It's one of those, I don't care about your misprint cards, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, on my desk, I found a test print foil uh, Survival of the Fittest, uh, which they didn't make, just so everybody knows. Um, so this is a test print, but these are the kinds of things that sit on Jim's desk. We don't know. Did I give you the pack yet? No. No, number 34. Number 34. I try. So, as Morgan keeps packing, I keep talking, and I think this is going much better than the last one, right? Didn't we have, like, lots of dead time? Yeah, I hope I'm getting 
faster, faster than the last one. We're getting faster just from today. Um, do you think we should take a moment out and give a word from our sponsor? Give it, what's the word from our sponsor? Once again, that moment of silence brought to you by your public library. Thank you. Guys. I'll beat a horse to death. The dun dun. At least we're not making dead. No, we didn't even get lunch today. That's terrible. No lunch. All right. We're going to be on pack number... 35. We're going to see me take a drink. That could be dangerous. What's in Jim's water bottle? Oh, we've done that before, haven't we? All right. Pack number 35 goes to Gilliam Denox. Once again, my buddy overseas, uh, I can't pronounce your name because I am horrible. Hey, do you think next time you should do this and I should pack? Oh, God. <laughs> well, we'll let you talk about everything that's going on in Magic uh, Together. <laughs> I would be going off a of script. A script? What kind of script? It might be even, it might be more boring than what this is. I'll talk about makeup. Makeup. I'll talk about makeup. You guys want to hear about makeup today? They don't. They don't. So. Well, now down to 10 people. 10, we dropped one. Somebody jumped off a cliff and said, No! Jim's too boring. This is a boring process, but I keep reiterating that this process is very important because we're showing you that your pack has not been searched. You can't get any better than that unless you do it. We do it live, like at a show. But, you know, our president is not letting us go out, protecting us. Wants to make sure that Morgan doesn't get sick. Just me. <laughs> what? I said it's just me. Just you. He's just all me. worried about you, Morgan. Morgan, what pack number are we on? 36. 36 goes to Jeremy Chen. Jeremy, you get pack number 36. You are a winner, baby. Hopefully, once again, you'll get a good card. Hey, I could be like Hopper. You get a good card. You get a good card. You get a good card. Do you remember the time when I was over and they gave out free makeup and I got tons of it, Morgan, and you got zero? It's the same thing. It was. You get free makeup, Jim. You get free makeup to the guy next to you. So. We should have a vote. Live on the air. Should I get rid of my employees or no? Like the cameraman. That guy. Because no one's going to get rid of Morgan. She's awesome. She's the Morganator. By the way, if anybody is bored, you know, you can go on our Facebook page. We have another, um, is it this Facebook page? Yeah, it's this Facebook page, right? I don't know. The ones that you can uh, make up name cards like you have, you know. Morgan likes to make up magic card names. You know, she's, she's really good at that. Why don't you give us one, Morgan? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know if I oh, now you're on the to. spot. You can't do it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. All right. We are going to pack what? 37. 37. Oh, I got to stamp this one with a seal of approval. Pack number 37 goes to Justin Ward. Justin, here you go. Fresh. It's like farm picked right out of the ground, right? Right off the tree. Right out. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. Know, I don't know what else fun we can have here, you know. So, um, but there are lots of sets, you know, in the vintage thing that we could talk about. Um, 
Let's talk about Alpha. Everybody likes Alpha. 1100 cards printed for the rares. Um, Alpha is a, a great set that's going up. Um, some people like to know what my favorite set is. Um, my favorite expansion set is Arabian Nights. I love Arabian Nights. That pink colored box right that I have back here goes with everything I own, right Morgan? And matches. And matches, can you believe that? It's almost like a chartreuse, isn't it? A light pink. Like a purplish pink. Purplish pink. Good, go with it. It, it probably would go really good with that new scarf though. By the way, uh, Morgan is our reigning uh, fashion uh, director here in Queen. Uh, she makes up all the uh, graded power couture. Oh, you like that word, did you? I used a couture. fancy word, couture. Couture. You didn't even know that was in my vocabulary, did you? Morgan gets a little scared in life when she finds out that I actually went to college, has a master's degree, and I'm like, wow, Jim's kind of intelligent once in a while. I just don't like him for his brute strength. That I gotta, you know, do all these. All right, what number are we on? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight goes to Michael Simpson. Michael Simpson. There you go. Nice pack. I'm sorry. It's getting boring here. We gotta make it exciting. We don't want Morgan to fall asleep. But yes, my favorite set is Arabian Nights. I don't know, it was just really cool. Seeing all the Arabian Night, you know, people in there, Aladdin, you know, Aladdin's Lamp, El Hajij, um, you know. So, a desert, an oasis, pretty cool, you know. That's, uh, that was just a really good concept they had they did way back when. I do like Arabian Nights. Um, I, I've always liked Legends, and I've always liked Antiquities. I mean, I started with Alpha in our my store back in 1993. I mean, we opened Alpha uh, for singles. I mean, we opened Beta. We opened Unlimited. Um, you know, this is stuff that I've stashed away, too, from my store. Um, I think we were going to ask one day, what is my favorite item of all time in Magic? Um, I think one of my my favorite items that I like, and only because I like purse, is Alpha Star Decks. I love Alpha Star Decks. And it could be because I'm arrogant. And we'll go back to that for a minute. What number? 39. 39 goes to Alvin Gates again. 39. 39. So... Um, the reason I like Alpha Starter Decks so much is because over the years, people have taunted me and said, Jim, this deck is $800. This is ridiculous. It used to be $799. You know, this is never going to, you know, it's just too expensive for cards. Well, then the deck got to $400 or $4,000. And then at $10,000, people just said, this will never do any good. Never do any good. Never do any good. Never do any good. Well... Now they're forty-five thousand to fifty thousand or higher, depending on who has them, what province they came from, things like that. And yes, province makes a difference. If you can certify this came out of a really good source, you know, it really helps with the value of the item. Just like these are coming from me. These are sealed. These, you know, we, we saw it here where we'll always have this, you know, uh, history and documentation of you know what we got. So. Did you want to try one today, Morgan? Do you want to see if you're strong enough? No. Are you sure? I already know. Oh, you did have to stamp 60 little uh, stickers. So. So. All right. We are in pack number 40. The last pack in the second stack. Pack number 40 goes to Louis Bendent Leclerc. If I screwed up your name, I personally apologize. And Morgan will send you a letter. Right? An apology letter yeah. from you? Yes, an apology <laughs> letter from me. Actually, we're going to send this guy a certified um, guaranteed original 
from graded power. I embossed a card, so he can have a nice little uh, emboss on the card. You can put it with his package. Because I screwed up his name so bad. Our gift to you because I can't speak English. Or any other language. But anyway, yes, album starters. When I got to $10,000, people really thought they weren't going anywhere. And I kept telling them they were going to get nothing but better and better. So one thing I did, a lot of people argued with me. So out of spite, I just went up and bought more and more and more. And that's why I personally own a lot of Apple starters. Because people told me I was going to be wrong. Well, I wasn't. And, uh, you know, in one year they went from thirty to 40000 I told people to buy them. Everybody tells me I'm crazy. You know, I'm not. I've been doing, I am the longest running magic dealer in history. I've been doing this since the beginning. I actually measured that tape out perfectly this time. Woo, Morgan, you're getting better here all the age. Out of the 40 that I've done, that is the only one. All right, we are we are done with two-thirds of the box. We are on the last one. Yay! Morgan's going, I can go home after this. No, i got to ship all this. got to ship all this. All right, uh, what pack number are we at, Morgan? Uh, 41. 41, I should have known that. I don't know why. Justin Ward. Justin. Justin, you get a nice pack. Lovely pack. That's beautiful. Morgan's going to take good care of it. She's going to treat it like a uh, fine crystal. You could think of that like it's a Fabergé egg. If anybody doesn't know how to tell the difference between an alpha starter and a beta starter, I don't know why this is coming on top of my head right now, but it is. Uh, alpha starters don't have a barcode, beta starters do. Um, you know, it's weird. Well, I hope everybody is enjoying today's um, video of how we pack uh, packs into envelopes today, because seems exciting to me. I know my cameraman loves every minute of it, and he's not getting bored at all. Um, yeah. And if you guys don't know my cameraman, his name is Steady McVee. So, has a hands of a surgeon. Not. Alright, pack number 42? 42. 42. 42 sounds like it. I know what number 42 is. Do you know what number 42 is? What number is 42? Does the people out there don't know what number 42 is? It is the meaning of life from... I don't know. You put me on the spot. <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Thank you. Oh, Josh okay. knew. Hitchhiker's, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, number 42. But you guys are also all wrong because this is a true story. I saw in a movie playing number 42 and thought it was going to be about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Went in, saw the movie, and it was about Jackie Robinson, the baseball player. Not joking, really thought it was about that. Had to complain to the manager that this was not the movie that I thought it was going to see. <laughs> so, number 42. Oh, goes with my good friend Adim Hatza. Adam Hatza. We love Adam. Adam is a good friend of mine. He owns Hot Sauce Games. We do a lot of shows together. We do Gen Con together. Me and Adam have been friends forever. Actually, you've met Adam. He's come to the building, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. You like Adam? Is he a nice man? He seems like Say a no. nice man. Say no. Say oh. no. No, he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Adam. Everybody loves you here, Adam. So, Adam, you just received pack number 42. Hopefully you get the workshop. Actually, hopefully you don't get to workshop because then that could be some type of collusion. I could get in trouble now. So. Morgan, how do you feel working with glue or an epoxy? I don't feel working with glue. Yes, because you know when we do this the next time, you got to seal the uh, cases. Uh, I mean, I don't think I have anything against it. Now you're gonna promise me you're not gonna sniff the glue while we're doing this? I can't promise that. Alrighty. 
Hey, we're back up to 11 people. That guy uh, didn't jump off. He just pretended he did. All right. Now, Morgan will upload this to our uh, YouTube page. We have a YouTube page, right? No. Oh, you told me we did. No, I was... I've been joking this whole time. It's been a... It's been a hoax, Jim. We really don't. No, we do actually have a YouTube page. You had to scare, you scared me there. You scared me there. All right, pack number 43 goes to Adam Fears. Adam, pack number 43. Pack number 43. So. But yeah, we have a YouTube channel. Did I say YouTube page before? Either one, YouTube channel, YouTube page. We also are on Instagram too, right? Mm hmm I don't know how to do any of this modern Instagram stuff. Instagram.com slash graded power. That's Do you know Instagram. do you know when Magic came out we didn't have Instagram or Facebook? We didn't even have MySpace. Actually, when Magic came out, we had uh, user groups before. We were just in the beginning of the internet. You would post in the user group to see if you could buy this item. Oh, it was it was Wow, it was the it was olden times. Basically, that's when AOL just basically came out and people could get on the interweb. That's right, the interweb, folks. By the way, we got to give a large shout out to our very important person, well, animal here today, right? Large shout out to Robbie the Hamster. He is always on the wheel getting our internet up. Keeps our internet going. We got a hamster on a wheel, and he just keeps it going constantly to keep our internet going. That's one of our jobs here is to feed him. Yes. So. All right. He eats meat. Pack number forty-four. Pack number forty-four goes to Barry Nordendale Jr. Barry, pack number forty-four. You are a winner. And you get a nice pack. And then we got to go over here and give it to Morgan. So. But we're live and in person today at my desk at Graded Power. This is actually where Jim does all this work for magic and stuff like that. And I'm going to let everybody down and everybody's going to be kind of depressed. Morgan does not sit next to me every day. We just made her a little position here today. Because if Morgan sat next to me every day, she would slap me a hundred times and you know, probably not work with me anymore. It's crazy. No, I take good care of Morgan. Morgan does a wonderful job here at the company. I was scripted. I was scripted. I was somebody can say that. That's right. We were paid. I was paid to say that. I was paid. Hey, if anybody wants to sponsor this show with uh, our uh, good friends at the public library, have, we'll always take on sponsors. You know, we'll hold up a little sign, or you know. What other sponsors do we have? What other sponsors do we have? Uh, hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I can talk about the sponsors who are advertising on my coffin. You know, they bought they bought uh, advertising space on my coffin from when I'm dead. Uh, we have forty five. Forty five. 45 goes to Eric LeServe, if I'm pronouncing that right. Eric LeServe, I think he is out of Paris, France. Eric, let's get a nice close-up of your pack so you can see how nice and beautiful that pack is. So when it gets to your lovely home in Paris, hey, maybe you can take this out by the Eiffel Tower and take a picture. We can we can have the pack go around the world like a gnome. Oh you remember? Yeah, that would be awesome. They right? need to, we need to make up a hashtag for that for Instagram. We do? Yeah. That way we can see the pictures when they take a Oh, yeah. Take a picture of your pack. Hashtag it. I don't know. Morgan will be doing all our social media. She doesn't know this yet, but uh, she already does it now, but she's really going to do I it. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's going to get worse. That I have no idea. Someday we're going to teach Jim how to tweet. He's going to use all the Twitters. <laughs> I mean, 
I, uh, a friend of mine, uh, you know, tweets when he drives, uh, you know. Is this that kind of dangerous? Well, his name's Ted. He's a, he's a bear. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was tweeting while I was driving. So. And he likes part, and he likes, uh, parsnip. So. So we got some newcomers uh, to the group. I just see we've got some more people. Shout out to whoever you guys are, um, Michael. That's nice. Um, who else is out there? Come on and say hi to Jim, and I'll put your name uh, out here in uh, in our live video feed of Morgan packing packs. I think that should be just a whole a whole show. Morgan Packing Packs. Every day, Morgan Packing Packs. All right, we are at number 46, and that goes to Louis Fernet Leclerc. Louis, you have pack number 46. Hope you enjoy it. I did want to do an actual everyday video of Morgan talking about what she eats for lunch. Because Morgan is a big foodie. She loves food. And I think it would I be the greatest. Food. What? I do love food. You do love food. And I think it would be great if Morgan would, you know, vlog about her lunch every day. And say, hey, this is what I'm having. This is what it tasted like. But she won't do that. That could be big on our YouTube channel. Morgan's lunch. Hey, out. Thomas. How's it going out there? Thanks for joining in. Morgan's what? Lunch channel? Morgan's lunch hour. Morgan's lunch hour. Hey, can we watch you uh, beat up a kid for their lunch money? Yeah, that'll be one of the specials. <laughs> That's how I get money to buy my lunch. Morgan goes, goes around the schoolyard and be like, Come on, kid, I need your lunch money. I don't even know how much a lunch costs these days at school. It's been so long since I've been to school. Do you still get lunch for 50 cents? I don't think it was 50 cents when I was... Well, I'm a lot older than you, Morgan. I know. Well, I know. But I, Morgan, just like I think I'm older than your dad. My dad's, how old are you? 50-something? 50-something what? Like, oh. it's early 50s. Oh, like I, didn't, I haven't made it to 50 yet, so I'm good. Oh, okay. All right, what number pack are we on? 47. 47 goes to... Blasey Hennessy? I don't know if I said that. B-L-A-S-E. I apologize if I butchered your name, and I have nothing to give you. Pack number 47. So, going back to the fun-filled things that happened in Magic over the years, ah, I've been a ton, can't remember all of them. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys have some questions you want to ask. Um, I know there's some of you out there watching. There's 12 of you. Does any of you have a question? Anybody? Anyone? 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 Bueller? 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 Yeah, I'm old. So. Um, anyway, we're getting down there. We only have a few more packs to go. And then, uh, you know, Morgan will be happy to get all this ready to go in this nice FedEx envelopes and make all this happen. Um, I think FedEx actually already ran, so it's going to be Monday, but we'll make all this perfect. I'm very happy that you guys all purchased these packs. I'm glad that you're going to get something unique. Guaranteed unsearched packs. That always makes me happy. So, and we are number 48. Number 48. Goes to Michael Simpson. Michael, here's a nice pack. Number 48. Somebody asked me how many Alpha Starters do I have. You don't want to know. <coughs> I personally own a lot. More than 30. Um, I have bought them for years and have kept them um, because I like them. Because there was never a lot of Alpha out there and it's just cool. Um, Graded Power also has some Alpha packs put away. I think we have at least three or four. 
I can tell you I know I have more than 30. Not more than 50, though. Less than 50. I don't know. I haven't counted them in a while. It's really funny, guys. Everybody cares about their magic. And I care about magic. But my stuff... You gotta remember, when I was buying, when I did this back in the day, I paid $42, uh, $44.19 for a box of Alpha, and a box of Beta, and a box of Lens. That's what it cost from the distributors. Like $44.50, $44.19, I can't remember the exact number, but it was $44, I know that. Because, you know, they retailed real cheap back in the day. Real cheap. We are at pack 49 Pack 49 goes to uh, Brad Teleby. Brad Teleby, you are pack number 49. Pack number 49. It's a nice pack, Brad. So. Hopefully, Brad, I didn't screw up your last name too bad. I am, like I said, horrible on names. But you just got a beautiful pack, pack there. Next time we do this, we should charge a little more and have like a raffle, you know, see who wins, you know, a cash prize or something. I think that would be a lot more fun, you know. Hey, you know, here, put in an extra uh, 20 bucks and, you know, five, we'll, we'll see how many put it in and then these people can split it and see how it goes. So, you know, it's going to be really, you know, interesting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, special guest that just walked into the studio. There he is, the one and only Lonnie J. Smith. Hey! Lonnie was on a road trip today to see a good friend of mine, my good friend Harry Collier. Collier? Collier. We love Harry. Harry's a great guy. All right, we are getting down to the nitty gritty. We should have only three more packs. Three more packs, and if I missed you and didn't have a pack, we got a problem. Uh, but I do have seven that I have, so we shouldn't have a problem. Uh, fifty. What? Pack number fifty. Fifty. That's like a big number. Fifty. That's like an anniversary. That's 50th. like fiftieth anniversary. someday you're gonna have a fiftieth. Someday you're gonna have a fiftieth birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, it's Morgan's birthday soon. 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 50 goes to my... 50 goes to Noah Rogers. Noah Rogers. Sounds like a singer, Noah Rogers. Kenny Bullock. So, I don't know if anybody didn't hear at the beginning of the thing. Uh, it's close to Morgan's birthday. You're having it on the 19th. Then yeah, I chose to have it on the 19th. Oh, did you? <laughs> no. Were you born on the 19th? Yes. Were you a test tube baby? I was a test tube baby. Well, I did say <laughs> that I had a dad earlier, so I can't say You can yes. tell the dad and have a test tube baby. <laughs> the, okay, then yes. <laughs> you try to have fun here. Brian, that's a great idea. I think it's a wonderful thing that you did that these are investments. Um, I have watched magic go up over the years. Um, you know, like I've said, we used to sell antiquities packs for $1.99. I think it even says $1.99. Oh no, I was mistaken. $1.99? Wow, that was expensive back in the day. This should be a fun-filled shot when we uh, go to the next uh, thing here, when Morgan gives me... Gives me like 10 seconds. Morgan, we're supposed to get this on the train. So... Anyway... So before we go down to pack number 51, because that comes after 50, right Morgan? It does? It does. It does. If Josh can get a shot of this, packs back in the day were only $1.45. Not even a dollar ninety nine, a dollar forty five. God, what you got for a dollar forty five in nineteen ninety four? I think it cost more for an ice cream cone back then. A dollar forty five. Don't you wish you kids could pay that now? Ah, but you can't. You can't. All right, pack number fifty one goes to my good friend Damian Brunson. Damian, look at this sweet pack. 
Now, Damien, if you were watching, I would say, you're going to let me crack this just for the hell of it? All right, Damien, there you go. We're going to pack that up for you. All right, our big 14 viewer watch list, huge, huge. You know, we're going to get national ratings with your 14, with 14 people. Hopefully you people will watch this on YouTube and other things, because Morgan did tell me we have a YouTube channel. We do. We do. We do. And it's a good thing, Morgan, that sometimes you don't see certain things. Anyway, well, I hope you all enjoyed watching this long, uh, drawn-out video of Morgan packing packs, because that's all this was. This was all about Morgan, all about her and her skills of putting packs in the envelopes. So. I think this was just a test to see how I do under pressure. Understand your question, but I think I may be able to answer it, uh, Thomas. You asked me if the plastic seal. Well, I'm going to actually show you. Where's the Where's that dark pack thing? Actually, Thomas, I'm going to show you what happens uh, after we do the video because I think we got what number pack we on? Fifty-two. Fifty-two goes to Mike. Plate or plat. I never can pronounce it. So, Mike, you are going to get beautiful number 52. So, you asked me about what, Thomas, what exactly what is your question? What plastic seal are you talking about? If you could be. A little uh, more specific, I would be happy to answer your question if I don't have a hiccup in the back. I think he's talking about the plastic seal on the boxes. Morgan's fishing for gold in there. Morgan, you have the same name as a comic book character. Well, your your name is uh, Eminem. Double initial. So it is a resealable team bag, but that's why we put the stamp on there. Once you put the stamp on there and you reseal it, you can tell it will be off. And I actually can show you that when uh, from uh, this dark pack. Uh, that we did as a test earlier. We'll, we'll show you how uh, how it is uh, to do that. But the last pack, we are finally down to the last pack. 53. 53 goes to Andrew Sellers. And these seven packs, these lovely seven packs, will be mine. And they will get to go in and be graded. So, and I'll get some nice pack. These packs are mine. And then we'll come back. We will give a round of applause to, uh, what was the name of our hamster? We don't know. Harry? It was Harry the hamster? What was Bernie the, oh, we have Bernie the alligator. So. And for kicks and giggles, while we've been uh, sitting here forever, um, we are going to do a, uh, I'm going to open this, uh, when we get this over here, I uh, did an uh, example of a dark pack and how we were going to uh, show everybody how we were going to pack the orders today. And so we'll open this dark pack live, live on camera to see if we get anything good. The only thing we can get is a ball of lightning or, uh, you know, uh, bad moon. I'm sorry, not bad moon, blood moon, blood moon. Wow, sorry guys. Red, I had red in my head and that's uh, so a black card. So. But 
Thank you for watching this at Greater Tower, and always keep watching our Facebook page because we will do more things like this, because Jim loves to get on camera and talk about this stuff, right Morgan? And uh, don't forget, we will be having, just so you know, 53, so you don't get confused. Uh, I think we'll have, uh, what was it, lunchtime with Morgan? That is not yet confirmed. Uh, how about <laughs> makeup tips with Morgan? Not yet confirmed. Morgan, these people want to know all about you. No, anyway, not. that was the last pack number 53. Now, if you try to open our sealed stuff, I can't even open this. Just trying to take the tape off would be a pain. First of all, there's a seal on it. So, if you take the tape off, I mean, you can see the... Uh, The way we sealed it right here, it pulls it right off. So where that seal is, get into the envelope. Once we get into the envelope, Morgan likes Morgan likes to use glue. All right. So the first thing is we have our own sticker on this. So if you remove the sticker, it's gonna rip. It's pretty pretty hard to get this sticker off. So you're going to see some residue. And then if you try to remove this, which is yes, resealable. You try to put that back on, you're going to be able to tell. There's, there's no way you're going to be able to re reseal this. I mean, so. But most of this, though, is for your personal use and not really, you know, the people. Um, you know, we'll have ones for investment purposes that'll be better on our next. Uh, the next opening, like I said, I make these uh, acrylic pack cases like this. And what we're going to do is put your pack inside and then we are going to glue it and seal it. So, but anyway, let's find out. Oh, look it. It's special guest star, the post office lady. You want to be on TV? No. Okay. <laughs> she says no. Anyway, let's see what we get in our beautiful uh, pack here. Uh, I think this is the best one we're going to get. I think that's City of Solitude. Uh, I can't see from back here, but, uh, so, anyway, there was nothing good in the Italian dark pack. Waste of, uh, 10, 20 bucks. But I'm happy that you all got to see us open this box of antiquities that goes for over, you know, 20 some thousand dollars. Everybody got their packs. They're all in there. Uh, big round of applause to Morgan for packing all your packs today. She will ship those out on Monday. Um, everybody's pack is numbered and thing. We will list the uh, the numbers on uh, our Facebook page, and we will list them on our, uh, on our uh, yeah YouTube channel mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So it will all be good. So, all right, guys, I really appreciate you watching this. Uh, it's been a few hours. This has been going on. Um, actually, I don't know how long it's been going on. Um, yeah, Andrew, sorry, you were the last guy, so uh, I think this has been going on for um, Should we have the clock there? one hour and 53 minutes, two hours with Gaming Gym. You can't buy quality like that. A ticket, a dinner with Gaming Gym is thousands. This was free, uh, unless you bought a pack. But anyway, so just remember, we sell uh, our uh, display guards, all the acrylic. Um, some of you did buy um, cases for your packs. We had a special. Um, we have these on our website. If you decide you want more for your uh, graded, uh, for your antiquity packs that you just bought, that would be wonderful. Um, but I think that really wraps it up. Two hours with Jim is long enough. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Morgan. But anyway, watch us again, and Morgan will be uh, doing uh, the packs, and we're going to teach her how to use some uh, epoxy. Or silicone and next time like I said the next box we're gonna do is a box of dark where we're gonna guarantee they will be unsearched and they will all be in an acrylic case with a uh, with our seal we will actually put our special seal right here just like this with a number a serial number we will have it you know sealed here and we will give you a certificate of authenticity matching the serial number to the certificate that's what we're going to be doing next and yes, it will cost a little more money than a regular pack because hey, you're getting the holder and you're getting this, but it's going to be certified unsearched. Um, and 
you should uh, you would really enjoy that. I hope you do. Anyway, on behalf of me and Parade the Power, um, I want you guys all to stay safe out there. Keep washing your hands. Keep wearing your masks and gloves. Um, do everything you can, um, you know, uh, to stay safe in this wild and crazy world. But uh, I don't really have anything more. Anything from uh, the lovely Morganator today? Um, that about wraps it up for me. <laughs> Remember, lunchtime with Morgan may come soon. Not yet confirmed, <laughs> but it's a maybe. <laughs> Thank you guys. Like I said, gradedpower.com for everything that you need from older uh, booster packs, boxes, to the latest uh, Icaria uh, that we uh, have on our uh, website for uh, $89.95 a box, uh, collectors, boosters, things like that. We carry it all. We're the only company that has every booster from Alpha to the latest set Icaria. Um, so things like that, we have them all. Anything else you need, come see me, Gaming Jim. Uh, have a great night and enjoy your packs. Thank you. Bye.